positive news today and a major milestone for Steelers linebacker Ryan Shazier. Yeah, he is moving on to the next stage of his recovery after suffering that spinal injury. We all watched it. Bob Pompiani joins us now with more. What a nice it's update. A big, big step in the yeah. right direction for Ryan Shazier, who, as you mentioned, suffered that devastating spinal injury in a game in December against the Bengals. Two days later, he underwent spinal stabilization surgery. Since then, he's been at UPMC Mercy Hospital. It's been almost two months now, but today the good news as he was discharged to continue his recovery. Ryan Shazier posted the good news on Instagram. He's standing with a little help from teammate Ben Roethlisberger. In the post, he says, quote, I want everyone to know that I'm moving on to the next step of the process. Today's a big day for me as I'm officially being released from the hospital, end quote. Shazier posted pictures of himself with hospital staff and then expressed his gratitude for all the care and support they've given him. He also thanked God, saying, quote again, because at the end of the day, I don't think I'd be making progress without his vision and hands protecting me and my family. I will continue to trust in him and thank him because it all starts with him, end quote. Shazier also thanked his family, saying they've been the rock of his everything. And of course, he mentioned his teammates, quote, the support of my teammates has been truly amazing. The former players to current players to their families, they've helped me and my family day to day with visits and gifts. Shazir apparently remains in a wheelchair but said, again quoting, I want everyone to know that all of the support and prayers are absolutely being answered. I will continue to work hard and push and find a way back. Hashtag Shayleave. And now that Shazir has been discharged from inpatient rehab, he will transition to an outpatient therapy program to continue his recovery. Live in the studio, Bob Pompey, NKDKA TV News. Yes.